Happy Sunday, everyone. So I'm sick, so if I sound a little weird, that's why. Um, we're gonna do a little one take Sunday. I'm gonna give you an update on our barred rock checks and Rhode Island Reds, which are now nine weeks old. And today was the day we moved them out. And I'm also gonna feed some scraps to the big girls here. Just some mango peels, watermelon peels. Even though they've gotten a bunch of stuff today, but why not give them some more? And then we will show you the new setup for everyone. Enjoy. These are the old girls, and as you can see, there is the chicks. So we made this redneck, janky little run with a coop attached at the end that you can't see yet, but I will show you. Um, the Bard Rock chicks and Rhode Island Reds are nine weeks old. They're outside now. They were just getting too big for their box that we had, and they're fully feathered, so they're more than capable of being outside. And we're not keeping all of them, obviously, because there's some roosters in there. Um, <clears throat> I'm still convinced we only have four girls. There might be some Rhode Island Reds that are girls. Um, a couple of them have smaller combs than the others that aren't red. So maybe I'm going to be a little bit surprised if we do end up with some Rhode Island Reds. But we still have a couple weeks to figure it out. So they're sharing the fence line right here so that they can get acquainted with these guys. It hasn't been rough from what I saw. The chain link fence is big enough that chickens can stick their head through it into the other side and they did have done that but they're also have enough room that they can get away so I'm gonna bring you over there that's what it looks like from this side we we strung a clear tarp just for rain protection we also did some work on this we have this little metal frame now that is pitched from the top of the shed all the way down so now the water runs off instead of just sitting on the top. Our neighbor next door is moving away, so we cleaned out her garage and we found these scrap pieces of metal that we decided to put to some use. I mean, this thing has a baby gate in the front. Uh, the chicken wire we did buy, we spent less than $30 on that. It was 29 bucks at Home Depot. And then this is our winter waterer. It's three gallons, so this is their new waterer. I gave the other ones to Pip and Squeak. Their food bowl. And then they have a lot of room in here. And then that at the end is their little coop. We put two bars in it so they can roost on it if they want, but I don't think they're gonna be able to figure that out. These guys are getting so big. This one might be a girl, I can't tell. She has no waddles. Well, it, it has no waddles, just that small comb. But then if you look at some of the other ones, like this one, he has a giant red comb and waddles already coming in. So we might have some Rhode Island red pellets. I have no idea. But everyone is happy out here. There's more room. There's some grass. They have a shelter. And they've already helped themselves to dust bathing, as you can see. So this is where they're going to be for the next few weeks until the pellets are big enough to hold their own with the big girls. They're probably about half the size of a regular hen right now, so we're not going to put them in there and let them get picked on, obviously. Uh, Chief is a whole other thing. I'm hoping Chief won't be aggressive because Chief is humongous. I can't... I have no idea. Like, he's even big for our hens, so we're going to see how that goes. Let me continue on showing you the rest of this coop thing. So this thing was a piece of scrap metal that our cousin was going to scrap, obviously, but it is functional. So we took it just so we had a door. Um, we keep this in front just so that they can't push it open. We got some rocks here. Hello. And we're going to bring it around this way. We strung out the rest of the tarp on the front to hang over this so that nothing goes inside. It's literally just a clear tarp. These are some garden posts <laughs> and some string. And then you come back here, this is a blue tarp that we used at our old property in the winter, the first time we ever tried to like winterize the coop and put tarps around the edges just to keep the draft out from the cold winter wind. But <clears throat> obviously we have upgraded to clear tarps now. 
this is gonna be their little coop thing where they can sleep. It is 100% <laughs> janky and redneck, but we didn't feel the need to buy a prefabricated coop or something or have the time to build one on our own. So this is only something they're gonna be in for a few weeks and then all the roosters are gonna be rehomed. So we didn't wanna do anything extravagant or spend a lot of money. We absolutely could have, but we just didn't feel the need. They're only gonna be in here for a few weeks, like I said. And then next up, we will keep this contraption here until Pip and Squeak are ready to be transitioned also. And then we're gonna get rid of this, turn it into some kind of rolling tractor. But this is gonna be here for a while because they're gonna go through it and then Pip and Squeak. I'm obviously not gonna keep both Pip and Squeak if one turns out to be a rooster and it does look like Squeak, the black one, is gonna be a rooster. From what I can tell so far, they're only two weeks old. It might surprise me. Pip and Squeak will remain together until Pip is integrated with the flock and then we will have to unfortunately rehome Squeak even though I don't want to because he is one of our own eggs that we hatched if he is a rooster. I'm almost positive that we do have one and one that Pip is a pullet and Squeak is a rooster. So they're going to stay together the whole time because I can't separate them or else Pip will be by herself. So we're going to get to hold on to Pip and Squeak for a little while. Our next big project after this is we're going to extend this run. We're going to pick up four more fence panels. We got this chain link fencing at Tractor Supply for $3.99. It is a dog kennel actually, but this is the way it's supposed to be set up. We have one of the top, the fourth panels on the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy another set of that at Tractor Supply and we're going to come out. These are 10 foot panels. So we're going to come out 10 more feet into our compost pile over here. They'll get another rock it looks like. And then we're going to enclose it again and we're gonna put the extra panels on top. We're gonna at least do 10 more feet. I wanted to do the 20, but my boyfriend said no. We're only adding, I think, a max of five more girls. If we end up with some Rhode Island Reds that are pullets, then we'll end up with more. But for right now, I think we're gonna end up with Pip, the four barred rocks, and that'll be it. I would like to keep a Rhode Island Red if one is a pullet. We want to keep as many pullets as we can, but right now we are down to seven hens and chief. So I think after that we'll be good for a while. I've never integrated baby chicks before because this is my original flock right here. And unfortunately we've lost a few, so it's time to add some more, but this is our first time doing this. I figured they can see each other through the fence line. So when the day does come in a couple weeks, when it's time to integrate, the pullets. I'm hoping it won't be that dramatic because they'll be used to each other. <laughs> They're a little crazy. So that's what's happening and we hope you all enjoyed our little update. I want to say goodbye to everyone. I guess you guys didn't like the mango skin but that is the first time you've ever had it so we will see you all next week. I'm going to insert the footage of my boyfriend and I setting up that run a little bit. <laughs> I didn't get all the footage, the camera overheated. <laughs> so it turned off when it overheated and then we took a break anyway. So when we came back out, I didn't get all the footage of us completing it. So Chief, don't do that. I hate when you get that close. It freaks me out. <laughs> You're going to have some new girls soon, buddy. Don't worry. That is the update. I don't want to keep rambling. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and we can't wait to share more updates with you about the new chicks, Pep and Squeak, and show you how the integration process goes with our old gals and the new ones. Alright, so we will see you all next week. Bye! <laughs>
and I pray All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, hear, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day Late at night, not okay All I want, and I pray All I need, are some better days Yeah, all I need, are some better days Cause all I want Stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait no, it's living with no shame Wait no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay Well I just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need, are some better days Yeah, all I need, are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better days Living life, every day Late at night, not okay, all I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days, yeah, all I need are some better days, cause all I want, and I pray, I believe in the better days. Living life, every day, late at night, not okay, all I want, and I pray, All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see Here I should celebrate, think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day, late at night, not okay All I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days Yeah, all I need are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray, I believe Kinda stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait no, it's living with no shame Wait no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay Well I just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life, every day